I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand the fundamental concept of solving polynomial equations. The question here is for the equation f of x equals to x cube plus x square minus x plus 2 find the number of complex roots, the possible real roots and the possible rational roots. So we'll talk about three kinds of roots, right? So one is complex roots. The other one is possible real roots. And the third one is possible rational roots. Now can you tell me how many complex roots can we have for this cubic polynomial and why? How many possible real roots can we have and what are possible rational roots for this given equation? Well the fundamental theorem is that the number of complex roots for any polynomial with degree n greater than or equal to 1 is n, right? So in this particular case, the degree is 3 and therefore we'll always have 3 complex roots. Now I find students getting confused with this because they get confused. They think complex numbers are only imaginary numbers and that is the root cause. What are complex numbers? Complex numbers, yes, of course, are imaginary numbers. They also include real numbers, right? Rational numbers. They include all the numbers, including imaginary numbers. You get the point. And therefore, the number of complex roots for a cubic equation will be 3. In general, if a polynomial is degree n, then the number of complex roots will be n. That is the fundamental theorem. Okay, I hope this point is well taken. Now the second part of this is how many possible real roots, right? So as you know, imaginary roots are always in conjugate pairs. Now important thing here to understand is imaginary roots are in conjugate pairs. Conjugate pairs means what? That means kind of a plus bi, let me write here, a plus minus bi, where i is that complex number which is equal to square root of minus 1. Correct? So imaginary roots are in conjugate pairs and therefore possible real roots should be how many? That is how we should look into it, right? So, so the possible real roots are 1 that will lead to two complex conjugate roots, imaginary I should say now, right, or three. So these are two possible values. The real roots could be either one or three, never two, correct? So, so a cubic function, if you're sketching, could be either, let me sketch one here, for example, like this, or it could be something like, uh, like this, right? 3 or with one real root, correct? The x-intercepts which we normally refer to. I hope you get the point. And the third part is possible rational roots, which we really find from the ratio of is it is what? In general, possible rational roots are in the form of p over q, correct? Where p is factors of leading coefficient, sorry, p is the factor of the constant term, which is 2 in this case. q is factor of leading coefficient, which is 1 in this case. And therefore, the possible number of rational roots are plus minus 1 or plus minus 2. Correct? So, I hope with this, this concept of complex roots, possible real roots, imaginary roots, rational roots is kind of clear in your mind. When we say complex roots, 
we mean imaginary, real, rational, everything included, right? Everything included. But when we say real roots, we are not including imaginary roots. And that combination of imaginary with the real gives you complex set of numbers. Possible rational roots, I'm saying plus minus one plus minus two, well, some of them may be right. Not all. Possible. So, be careful about these terms when we move forward in solving polynomial equations. I hope this concept will really help you. Thank you and all the best.